And joining us on the panel today from 2FM, we have Tara Stewart. Also joining us is writer Barbara Scully. And from MMA Connect TV, it's Lydia oh, Lizzo. No, no, we to to so we have to pay our taxes and live. <laughs> this is the go. thing. I love the creativity of the story, like, and that she's putting in this effort and she's paying this tribute to, like, those who've gone before and, you know, but... In the reality of the situation, like, I mean, what are you going to do? Is she going to sell, make a little business for herself and sell on those cakes? Yeah. Fantastic. Then I, I approve and applaud. But to just say, like, you know, oh, I'm just going to stay at home and I'm just going to bake and I'm just going to look like this every day, like, you know, for what? You, yeah, have, you have to do something. To do I don't that, think that's you know? for six I'd love to do that. Uh, I'd love to pop I mean, be a bad set to That was an awful thing to uh, do. It was crazy. Are you still in love with any of your exes? No, I'm not. Absolutely not. And I don't wish them ill in any way. I think they're all great. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I wish to tell you. I to tell you. I have to say that. <laughs> no, but uh, this story, I was actually like, my mouth just dropped open, open, up the whole time I was reading it. Like, the main thing here in this story is he's married. She's like, should I, dear Colleen, should I get back in touch with him? Should I, you know, I can't stop thinking about him. What? Okay, stop looking at his social media, yeah. like, move on. She's going out with somebody new and he's married. See, I think with this sort of thing, you're just use, you're looking for an excuse to break up with court work. battle. So, uh, Lydia, what do you think his chances are? <laughs> I think this is a brilliant story. Well, come on, like, the reality of it is, like, he, first of all, he was 12 days late, hadn't been to assignments. Anyone who's been to college knows. That's not how you play the game, oh, guys, you know no. what I mean? A fair play to him for giving it a shot, but, like, look, I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. Yeah. yeah I'm not buying it. Because I would that. So, because you were in the cold face of it, you see it, you're young and hip, and I'm not, so, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> we now remember you, when, years ago when you used to be able to go out for, like, £20 before we changed the euro, that's, you know? And he's like... How do you know that? Because I'm of an age. I have an eight. I know, I look, I look about 15. But uh, that's what you oh, want. Gosh. I actually read this story and I was like, hmm, I wonder where exactly this is in Belfast. <laughs> I would and like to could I get a student ID <laughs> in that time? Uh, yeah, I'm all for it. You definitely could get the student ID, whatever I might find in the club <laughs> in Belfast. Definitely. <laughs> there was um, Scully in Cork slash Sherwood. I have never seen a spider as that's big that's as big. the world. Me neither. I nearly big. had a heart attack. I, I mean, he oh, was the size of a soul. Yeah. I mean, I really hope some situation doesn't happen and I'm going to be... They can bite but... you, I think, can't yeah. they? But they don't kill you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. OK, on that lovely note, I'm very sorry for scaring everybody. <laughs> we'll leave it for there today. Thanks to all my guests in studio. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Take care. Bye-bye.